So I'm varnishing this uh, wave painting uh, today and I'm using this Damar retouching varnish um, by Zestit um, and it will lift the colours and it will even out any um, sunken areas and it enriches the colour as well so um, I like to use this. Oh, yeah. Okay so I'm just going to pour on a couple of areas not too much I've got a, a three inch brush here that I'm using and just start spreading the varnish and you can see that it's lifting the colour and enriching it as I go I'm just moving the brush vertically and then horizontally just to make sure I get an even coat. I'll come around the other side in a minute. the blues and turquoise of this painting which is now on my website katherinekennedy.co.uk just remove any stray brush marks or hairs from the bristles I mean I'm doing this outside because it's good to do it in a well vented, ventilated area, even though this Damar retouching varnish is non-toxic, it's still good to either do it outside or with all the windows open if you can. horizontal lines, make sure I get a good even coverage. And then if you just put your eye to the level of the painting, you can see um, any bits that you've missed. So they won't have a sheen. So that looks okay. Uh, so I'm just going to do the sides now, make sure they've got a good coating. Just with a short brush motion like that. This protects the painting. I just tend to use one coat of varnish and that seems perfectly adequate. If you need a bit more varnish on the sides, just take it off the front. And come round and do the other side. Straight inset there. And another one. That's the trouble with painting and varnishing outside. Flat surface for that to dry on. 
Um, it should be dry in a couple of days um, because it's um, still quite warm over out there. The warmer the weather, the quicker it dries. Check, got the sides. Yep. 